grassroots women's football in Spain. This is where it all begins for those aspiring to replicate their World Cup heroines. The Carabanchel Football School in the south of Madrid has women's teams of all ages. Clubs like this one have helped increase female participation in the game. There are now nearly 10,000 registered players in the capital alone. The women's professional game is still in its infancy. The league was only established four years ago. The majority of players, like Maria Lazaro, say they still need to work full-time to pursue their dream in sport. There's a lot of hope because in recent years we've seen progress has been made, but we also feel that we're not in the place we deserve to be. What I'm saying is that it's a constant struggle, not just on the football fields, but you can also see it in workplaces and in certain social situations. The Spanish professional league minimum wage structure illustrates the difference. An entry-level professional in the men's game earns $203,000 a year. That's at nearly 12 times their female counterparts, who earn roughly $17,000. The women's game in Spain has never been more in the spotlight. The world champions won against all the odds. But it's also highlighted just how much still needs to be done on the professional and amateur level to reach equality within the game itself. Many observers have also felt the fight against inequality is not just restricted to economics. The actions of Spanish Federation President Luis Rubiales during the post-match celebrations came in for huge criticism. Ahead of the trophy presentation, he kissed player Jenny Armoso on the lips in what was seen as a completely inappropriate gesture, and for which he has since apologized. Yo creo que está fuera del lugar. I think it was totally out of line. The president of the federation is the highest authority figure in Spanish football, so I think his behavior was just wrong. You can't kiss a player even if it was in a celebration. Right after winning a World Cup, he made a major mistake there. The success of the national team on the pitch is likely to mark a turning point in the women's game that could attract larger audiences and more sponsors. Players like Maria Lazaro will also be hoping that it can bring a more level playing field between the men and women's game here in Spain. Johannes Blechberger, CGTN, Madrid.